The Autoflame gas and air pressure sensors have a multitude of uses, both with the MM combustion controllers and the data transfer interface. When used in conjunction with an MM, the gas pressure sensor is used for the purpose of gas valve proving and continuous gas pressure monitoring. The air pressure sensor is used for continuous combustion air monitoring and proving, as well as draft pressure control. Both sensors feature a differential pressure port. In the case of the gas pressure sensor, this port must be piped to the atmosphere when an IP65 rating is required. In the case of the air pressure sensor, this must be used when your air pressure at low fire is below 0.4 inches water gauge, when it's a local code requirement, or when an IP65 rating is required for outside applications. You can see here on the burner that the air pressure sensor is mounted after your combustion air fan and before your air damper. When configured for gas valve proving or VPS, the gas pressure sensor will monitor your gas pressure continuously as the MM energizes and de-energizes your two main gas valves and your vent valve if you have one, ultimately testing for valve integrity. You can see here we've got the gas pressure sensor mounted vertically in between the upstream and downstream main gas valves. In this case, we're using a Dung's double block valve assembly. When the gas pressure sensor or air pressure sensor is configured for monitoring and proving, the MM will run through your commissioned fuel air ratio curve, starting at low fire and stepping up to high fire, logging your pressure at each of your points. Now, configurable warning and shutdown thresholds can be set on the MM around your commissioned pressure curve. Now, the warning threshold will generate a warning to the end user and store this in your system log, whereas the shutdown threshold will shut down the burner. A gas or air pressure switch will shut down the burner at a discrete value, whereas the auto flame pressure sensors will generate a warning or shut down the burner at an offset from your commissioned pressure. Now, typically, an auto flame gas or air pressure sensor will work in conjunction with your existing pressure switches. However, they are UL approved to work in place of a switch as a limit device. We can also provide an ATEX approved pressure sensor for hazardous environments. Up to 10 auto flame gas and air pressure sensors can be wired into the market data transfer interface or DTI for the purpose of pressure monitoring and proving. For example, you could use a gas pressure sensor to monitor multiple points on your gas drain, maybe the gas pressure coming into the boiler room. You could use an air sensor for your boiler room ventilation or use any of the sensors for non-boiler related equipment. Now in a similar way to the MM, using the DTI, you can set thresholds above and below a defined pressure. Using these thresholds, you can shut down burners, change burner firing rates, you can send emails, generate alarms, and much more, all using the DTI's rule system.